Bacter's Truvax HXX. Air Excavation and Compressor Care. This video is for general information. The operator's manual should be read for more detail on proper care of your Truvax HXX. The H5020 Air Excavation Package will create 185 cubic foot a minute and up to 150 pounds per square inch. Air excavation is similar to hydro excavation in operation. Air based vacuum system offers the same benefits of a water based vacuum system with the following advantages. With air, spoils stay dry so they can be used for backfilling. Air eliminates mud disposal problems. Air reduces erosion of road base or around utilities. Working with air will require more frequent maintenance of the blower inlet air filter. The air system on this unit consists of an air compressor and hose reel. The hydraulic system must be engaged to operate with air. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions located in the cab of the truck for proper engagement of the hydraulics prior to engaging the air system. Connect the hose reel hose to the air gun and prepare to operate. The system is designed so that either the air or the water system can operate, but not both at the same time. Controls High low switch. If equipped, 150 psi for digging and 110 for air tools. Reset switch. Resets system after unit has gone into a shutdown mode. A message will be displayed when a reset is required. Hour meter. Used to track service intervals. Pressure gauge. Do not operate above 150 psi. Temperature gauge indicates operating temperature. Unit will go into a shutdown at 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Automatic blowdown valve. There is an integrated blowdown valve in the compressor system. It is located at the downstream side of the coalescer head and will automatically bleed the sump to zero pressure when the compressor is disengaged. Blowdown time intervals takes about 30 to 60 seconds and is controlled by a pressure sensor. If the air switch at the master control panel is quickly cycled, the air indicator light will not go on until the blowdown time interval has completed. Blowdown time should be 45 seconds to a minute. Longer is actually better. Too fast will cause oil carryover into the coalescer filter. Operation Switch air on at the master control panel. The unit is equipped with a load sensing ability. The RPMs will drop to an idle mode after 10 seconds of no load and return to full speed when the gun is triggered. Shutdown systems. Excessive flow, velocity valve. Closes when full free air flow is detected. Resets automatically when problem is corrected. Temperature shutdown. Unit will go into a shutdown at about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the reset switch to restart after correcting the problem. The temperature gauge is also the switch for this function. The normal reading about 175 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. High pressure shutdown. Unit will go into shutdown after 150 PSI is reached. Use the reset switch to restart after correcting the problem. A message will be displayed when a reset is required. The gauge is also the switch for this function. Housing pressure relief. Opens at 175 PSI to protect the compressor. 
resets automatically when the problem is corrected. Note two similar air compressors are in service and are in similar in appearance. CEG's Air Spade Factor offers CEG's Air Spade digging tool for use with optional air compressor system. Refer to the manufacturer's manual for operation, service, and maintenance. Safety Instructions Always wear appropriate protective work clothing and equipment, PPE. Cut and puncture resistant gloves. Approve safety glasses. Face protection. And approved hearing protection must be worn while operating the utility air spade. Eye protection should comply with American National Standard Institute, ANSI, Z87.1-1989. Air protection should provide noise reduction rating, NRR, of at least 20 dB. Wear approved electrical insulated footwear and gloves if working near underground utility lines. Wear approved respirator protection when working in extremely dusty conditions. Ensure that all personnel near the area being excavated are aware that the utility air spade is being used and that they wear appropriate PPE as indicated. Know what's below, call before you dig. Protect surfaces that could be chipped or damaged by dislodged soil or rock particles. Adjacent to the excavation work area by using suitable drop cloths, screens, or other means. Do not Operate the utility air spade until the operating instructions are read and fully understood. Make any modifications to the utility air spade. Tie, tape, or otherwise lock or fasten the trigger into the on position. Point or aim the utility air spade at any person during operation. Allow hands, feet, or any body part near the utility air spade nozzle tip during operation. Use the utility air spade as a pry bar. Excavation Tips Watering the work area ahead of time can often be helpful. Watering reduces airborne dust if the soil is extremely dry. It also reduces the soil's strength, making digging easier. For deeper excavations or trenches, loosen the soil in layers several inches. Remove the soil with a shovel or vacuum. Repeat the procedure until the desired depth is reached. Accepted very hard and compact clay, dwelling on the same spot tends to reduce the rate at which the material is excavated and can increase the amount of material blown away from the excavation site. For boring small diameter holes, Position the utility air spade barrel perpendicular to the ground with the nozzle close to the surface. Depress the trigger, slowly thrust the tool into the soil. When resistance is met, slowly withdraw the utility air spade and then reinsert. This procedure allows loose soil at the bottom of the hole to exit upward. Reinsert the nozzle and repeat the above procedure until the desired depth of the hole is reached. As with any professional grade tool, the utility air spade requires regular care to ensure proper operation. Prior to each use, inspect the tool for any loose or visible damaged parts. Tighten or replace worn parts as required. Inspect the fiberglass barrel for cracks, wear, or other damage. Remove dirt or other form material from around the trigger and valve stem areas and from the fiberglass barrel. 
Periodically apply a light oil or lubricant like WD-40 to ensure smooth operation. Compressor Lubrication and Maintenance Compressor oil and filter is to be changed after the first 50 hours of operation. After this, normal intervals are to be followed. Observed all gauge readings. Note any change from normal reading and determine the cause. Have necessary repairs made. Check safety circuit switches. Every 10 hours or daily. Check compressor oil level. Check air filter. Check for oil and air leaks. Every 25 hours or monthly, drain water from the compressor. Let the truck sit overnight. Remove drain plug and slowly turn ball valve to drain only the water. Add fresh oil to proper level. Every 500 hours or 6 months. Change compressor oil and filter. Check the compressor shaft seal for leakage. Check air filter piping, fittings, and clamps. Check compressor supports. Install new air filter element. Shorter intervals may be necessary under dusty conditions. Check sump safety valve. Every thousand hours. Change coalescing element. Periodically or as required, inspect and clean air filter element. Inspect and replace spin on coalescent element if necessary. Inspect and clean oil cooler fins.